guys welcome back to my channel thank you all for clicking on this video if you like talking movies way too much how about clicking that subscribe button so yes i am back with yet another review because this past weekend we had a, a lot of movie releases so today we're going to be talking about the new anime movie a whisker away <laughs> So it was Girl Away is an hour and 44 minutes long and it came out on Netflix June the 18th. So this is actually you guys my first anime movie. Well technically I guess it's my second anime movie because I mean if you count a Pokemon movie and I saw that when I was a kid. Try not to like go too harsh on me and I really did want to say you know me not knowing anything about anime just because i don't have anything to compare the movie to as far as another movie besides like i said the pokemon movie but that's from like years ago and i really don't remember it too well and plus animation has come such a far far way from when i was a kid i do want to start off with the animation and i thought it was absolutely beautiful um again i don't have anything to compare to i don't know i'm sure there's other things way better than this but for me for basically like a first time i really enjoyed all the animation that was done here um the overall story i did like it as well it felt like it got a little bit dark there towards you know certain parts of the of the movie i was just like okay it's kind of kind of twisty in a way but i was i was here for it you guys basically a whisker away for those who don't know pretty much about this girl who is very lonely very depressed and becomes very obsessed with this one boy once you really get close to him and doesn't really know how to do it in her human form without being really like in your face stalkerish kind of deal she ends up coming across this big ass cat which is known as the mask seller he honestly gave me Cheshire cat vibes again like I, I don't come after me for my anime lovers on that I have nothing to compare this to but that's when I saw the movie that's what I thought about big old cat um, actually allows a human to turn into a cat she turns into this really beautiful cat and when she's in her cat form she actually goes to her crush's house and that's how basically she's able to spend time with him she's somebody who doesn't want you to know that she's sad that she's depressed so she literally is somebody that always puts a smile uh, on her face regardless of how hurt and broken she is inside it's very interesting once we do get to like cat city or whatever it's called i know it's like terrible again don't come after me um that was very interesting and unique for me because again i've never seen something like that before so i thought it was really really cool how we do have like cat world and then plus we get um the people who were once humans and got turned into cats permanently and of course once we get to the more heart of the movie is the decision of whether to stay as a cat or return as a human and she's very conflicted of does anybody really truly love me does anybody even care if i'm no longer around um again that's all the depression that she has that's really making her feel that way which is why i would have loved to have seen that aspect a little bit more uh, on this film um and again have focused a little bit less i mean i know overall at the end that whole love story was really what make the circumstances differently but, but i mean overall for it to be like my first anime movie i was really really uh impressed i was really highly entertained um so with that i'm gonna go ahead and give it a medium popcorn rating um i don't know is that too high of a rating for those who actually know anime love anime let me know down below i mean but again for somebody who is a newcomer i did quite enjoy it i mean i didn't absolutely love it but i did really enjoy it um i feel what really helped the story for me was the end credits i really really like those as well they're so super super cute so just kind of stick around you guys for those as well because you do get a little bit more on the story um i definitely do want to check out more anime let me know down below what i should check out now i did just finish watching avatar not that long ago but um besides that i've probably only seen maybe like two or three other anime shows um, if you've seen a whisker away let me know down below what you guys thought about it did you like it did you hate it was it just not for you but of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when i post something new until next time i'll see you guys at confessions bye